morning. This is actually my second intro. I'm going to be doing three today. Um, so it's going to feel like it's a lot of back to back unboxings. But the things I've got, I'm so excited about and I wanted to share them and I want to get in them. And this is, as you'll have seen from the thumbnail, the next one I'm going to do. Now, you'll have seen that I did the books and I went to check whether Smith's Toy Shop did have them, which I mentioned in the previous one. They haven't yet, even though it's on their website. It's not in the store and it doesn't say it's available yet. It could be today. I don't know. But yesterday it wasn't. Um, so, of course, well, I saw this. Now, I didn't even realise these existed. I think I must have been asleep for the past week. Um, but I'd seen one of these little coffee makers by one of the other Cindy collectors on their Instagram. And I went, wow, that is so cute. Wonder where it came from. And then I didn't realise there were these mini appliances that are done by the Miniverse. Now, the beauty of this is you can find out which one is which. There is a collection of different ones. I only wanted the coffee maker. And if you look at it, well, you can see it probably, it says a spread, it's part of espresso and resso there. So it will actually tell you which one it is. Now, I know they did this for the Christmas one and I know they're doing it for the Valentine's one of which I can't find either, which I really want to get a hold of. Um, because these, like I say, are great for the Cindy house. Absolutely amazing. The size, the scale, everything. The Miniverse is just so lovely for that. But at least I know what I've got. I don't know what colour I've got. Because there's two colours apparently. Uh, there's a pink and a blue. Sort of hoping for blue. Don't mind pink either. Because they will both fit into the Cindy kitchen. Oh, well, the idea I'm aiming for for my Cindy kitchen. So we need to get a top down and have a look in this. It's a much bigger ball, as you can see, compared with the others. Um, so... A little bit more expensive, I'm afraid. $12.99. Do shop around. Like I said, I didn't know they were there. I just got excited when I saw it in Smith's, so I ended up buying it. Smith's was a little bit misleading because there was a sign on the shelf that said, I think, was it? Was it $8.99? Something like that. Should read the small print, shouldn't you? Because these levels are so tiny. Um, and then I looked online to see whether I could definitely check which one it was. And that's a $12.99. Oh, at, um, this is well, okay. So we went to the counter and it was, it was $12.99. But other stores, I'm sure, will get them in at a lower price, hopefully. So let's go top down and see what colour coffee maker I've got. And I'm going to put it in my Cindy house and I'm going to take some photos of it, uh, which I'm aiming to put on the end. Not quite sure how I'm going to do this today, but I will see you in a second top down. So here we have our Make It Mini appliances, which I mentioned before, I didn't know existed. But I'm super pleased I found out they do because I had seen this little espresso on somebody else's Instagram and I was like, ah, I need one of those. Right, now the actual whole resin thing and things like that, I've seen people do, it's super cute. Don't know whether I'm going to be doing that. I'm quite happy for it just to be a decorative item. So you can see there's two colours. We have two colours there. Uh, it says there's eight different things to collect. And this is what I was mentioning. I know that is the um, that's oh, slushy sort of type maker. But I think it's this wording that we need to look for. Can you see? Because obviously that's showing different ones. And you can see that that's a picture of the coffee maker and things like that. So you do need to sort of keep an eye out for that. And we do have, obviously, look, we have da 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 da, which I think is on the main box. I'm not so sure whether that's not on everything. Uh, that's just showing how it is. I'm sure they all look the same. Let's have a, anything else. Obviously, it's MGA. Um, I don't think it really says anything else. I was looking for recycle, but. Uh, there's nothing I can see that is in English, but it, it could be. Usually they're quite good with this. Now, I think I will go for the whole unboxing with you guys because it's a slightly larger ball and I've never seen one quite like this. So I think it'll just open the same, won't it? So that's stage one. And you see we have Miniverse printed in here on the box. That came out quite easy, actually. Where's my other little line? There should be a little line, isn't there? Where's the little line? It's there. It's hiding. There's an arrow pointing to it, and I still don't see it. Oh, be careful if you're using scissors. So it's not actually spherical. These are quite sweet. I'm just looking. With them being yellow like they were, they might make some quite sort of cute Easter type baskets or something like that so little holes there are we meant to hang them up i don't know let's see in we go ah i have the pink one now this is super cute i did want the blue one but this is still super cute 
a bit of plastic there which i could do without but look at that it even has little it, it does work i said i've watched other people do it so you do put the resin in and it comes out of here and it makes you a little cup of coffee um and then obviously you've got to cure the resin from there but oh there's my lid that's where the little you can see the little picture of a bottle there that's where that would slide in you can sort of hear what sort of plastic it is detailing on it is really nice i do like the detailing it looks sort of quite sort of a retro coffee maker or espresso maker yeah that's really nice i'm pleased with that um i'm just looking around i don't have a cindy near me i was thinking about the sizing let's see what else we've got what's this made fresh oh i don't know if you've got a little coffee shop or something that'd be quite a cool sign wouldn't it i haven't but that might be something to think about. Well, I have a tiny coffee shop. I don't have one this size. And then we have all our little bits and pieces in there. And little bits and pieces in there. And our instructions. So, I don't know why they bothered packaging that up. It's just extra plastic for the sake of plastic, isn't it? Um, usually they're quite good, these guys. Oh, got plastic stuck to me now. So, obviously all the instructions in every language, which again is really good read me first i never read things first i'm an absolute nightmare so we can see on here it shows the different things this is the coffee, the espresso maker i keep saying coffee maker the espresso maker the same thing isn't it uh they're still both coffee makers um i don't it says read me first but i don't think it's a huge amount it says just says you can remove the tray and insert to fill up larger cups I don't know. I don't want to be doing that anyway. And um, bits of information. Before you start, do not expose machines to direct sunlight, as by doing this, it may harden the resin before you create the drinks. Oh, okay, fair enough. So if you've not made it, you don't want to be leaving the stuff anywhere near the sunlight because it can make it sort of go. So we have this little pod here. Now, again, oh, look, there we go. It has left me a little line little pod and we have these now this is a perfect color um so yeah perhaps the pinks work because the cindy kitchen's all going to be these sort of color so you can see these little plastic plates well to be honest um they would be a rather large cup for cindy but that's okay she's it would be a big espresso wouldn't it perhaps she is having cappuccinos because she needs a chunky cup there for a cappuccino now these are really cute little plastic cups and saucers so that's nice because obviously this goes under here and blah blah blah, blah. um and let's have a look now this is where the magic happens um i've not had a huge amount of luck with this resin not this particular one but resin full stop so we have our resin in a bottle there. we have some tiny whipped creams and we have if i can get them out these are tiny two little spoons so as accessories just for your doll this is super cute let me move all these bits out the sun's starting to come through the window now so it's getting a little bit brighter but the actual accessories if i just wanted to say that is it that is sitting in my cindy house that is fine be perfect you could have that on the shelf you could have that on the shelf so they've got little containers but as i say i do know people have done these um i don't know i'm so tempted i sort of want to have a go my only problem being is i haven't got a faintest idea where my uv light is i have a little uv sort of like a torch but i don't know where it is so maybe i'm not going to do it I would definitely have a look at other people's videos. Oh, here's the uh, collection that you've got. So we have a soda one. We have the espresso. Um, that's the boba machine. Is it boba? Boba? I don't know. Bubble tea? Whatever. Um, we have a juice one. And I know I can definitely say it does say juice. Uh, it says soda on these. So I have seen that. And then obviously this is the one I've got. Um, and then the, it just looks like the different colours. So you've got your four versions four styles and then two different colors of each style by the look of it and your basic information is in there now as i said i've seen somebody do this so i know it is quite easy and i know it works basically this little container here is i'm not going to take it out slots in here it will slot in further obviously without its lid so it goes right down can you see you can see if i do that and then uh, I don't really be able to see it. Can you see it opens and closes? Yeah. 
opens and closes so you would be taking your lid off this pushing this all the way down into there popping our lid back on of course and then when we pop the cup underneath you can literally open the resin comes out until you want it to get to a certain level and then we will turn it off and take it out now what one i watched was quite good because they let this harden and then they put a tiny blob on so they could stick these little lumps of cream so you've got those which is super cute because i'm going to be putting those on but then you've got these containers which will also look super cute in your little doll's house um or whatever you collect with it's just your miniatures collection things like that so it's all super cute and i'm I want to do this you know but i might regret it and i don't know whether you guys are going to be able to see it properly because i'm going to have to rely on the sunlight in fact i'm going to pause for a second and see if i oh i'm knocking the camera see if i can find my uv light bear with me a second well that's super annoying i cannot find my uv sort of lamp it's not a lamp it's like a little i say a little torch anywhere but the sun does actually set them so maybe i can't do it fully but i just really want to fill these cups up i really got to do this so i don't know how you're going to see this angle wise so oh you can see a little sticky resin would be a good idea to put something on the surface but please be careful when you're doing this so i'm going to push that in i presume that's as far as it goes gravity is going to do the job of course so we're going to pop our lid back on which is oh wrong way around now it's a little bit loose so be careful because i'm going to sort of slightly tip it to show you so what we're hoping for is when i open this up the resin's going to pour in this and then i will be able to stop it in time now do i risk doing it on an angle i'm not sure i'm going to have a go I'm, you're not going to be able to see this though and i wanted you to be able to see it let's see if i turn it is it coming out might not come out because of the angle i'm on come on resin out you come my resin's not coming out there is absolutely nothing moving now have i done something wrong with the packet there let me take it back out oh look at that the whole thing came out ah um well you can see the resin's there perhaps you've just got to be a bit patient perhaps i'm just impatient so I'm going to push it back in, make sure that is closed. Can you see you've got that open and closey bit? But that works with this, so let's say I can't remember which way it was closed now. It's going to start coming out. That way's closed. No, that way's open, that was closed. Right, so <laughs> I'm not going to put the lid back on. We'll just have a go. So I'm going to put that under and I'm going to open it. And we'll see how long it's not coming out yet i know you can't see that but i'm sitting back to see there is no sign of any resin coming out yet we might be quite a while waiting for this cup of coffee no shall i squeeze it will that make a difference if we give it a little squeeze Oh, I've tipped it up. Look, you can see it's open, but there's apps. Oh, I can see something very slightly wet. So this isn't coming out as easy as I'd hoped. I know on the other video I watched, it was great. She went, oh, da 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 da, and just turned it on, and it poured out, and it was all cute and uh, perfect. And this is doing absolutely nothing. Is there another seal over it? Oh, it is coming out now. It's coming out when I don't want it to come out. So, come on. Ah, it is coming out. I don't know whether... Can you see? You're not going to be able to see. I really need the camera on another angle. Let's see if I can change the angle. Right, well, you can actually see it now. But, can you see it dripping out? There we go. Drip, 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 drip. It's coming out slowly. Very slowly. We haven't got a lot in there now. You see it dripping? I know I'm going to regret doing this. I say I'm really, I love to see resin. I think it looks amazing. 
but for whatever reason I don't have a huge amount of luck. I suppose it coming out slow is good um, because then if you need to stop it or you know <laughs> they're designed for children these things. So I can see my coffee cup filling up. I don't know how far to take it. How far do you think I should go? Maybe a little tiny bit more, a couple more blobs. Should we have a full cup of coffee? What I'm hoping though, it is actually just going to completely stop. But I'm going to have to try and make sure I clean this out because I want this for display. Um, I don't want it full of sticky resin, do I? I think my coffee cup is about halfway. Yes, it's not exactly speedy, but uh, I suppose it's something to watch. There we go. Oh, we've got a couple more blobs there. I suppose it's sort of quite relaxing, actually. I'm just staring at it. It's very strange. I don't know. I don't know whether that should be enough. Thing is, I can always top it up if I want to, which I can do after the fact. So, let's just see if it turns it off, shall we? Or should I say a bit more? A bit more. Two more. Two more blobs. One, two, and close. Now, let's just sit here a second to make sure it is closed. It does appear to be so. Now, this is really weird angle for me to work on. And, ah, problem. Be careful. There are drips. Did the camera blur then? I think it did a little bit. I'm just trying to grab a cloth, which now I can't get to anything because I moved everything when I was searching for the other items. So you can see, this is a very strange angle. I don't even know where I'm going. There you go. So you can see this gooey sort of uh, consistency in here. A little bit messy, so I'm just going to move it towards me just to remove that. Right, so we have, where are we? There's the camera. We have a coffee cup full. So let's put the other one underneath and open it up. And let's see if it continues dripping. I can smell the resin. I don't actually like the smell of it. It's, yeah, it, it's not unpleasant, but it, it's not my idea of fun. So while that's having a drip, which it's not doing again now, is it? I've just got the cloth out to wipe that off my fingers. Now, in theory, I should now be putting my lamp on, or if you've got one of those lovely miniverse... Oh, there we go, there we go, it's dripping. If you've got one of them lovely miniverse kitchens, I didn't know that. They've got a UV lamp in their cooker. How amazing is that? I didn't know that, but I think I need those to come down in price before I get one of those. Um, I would put in this in the sun. It's going to take longer. It normally takes five minutes with a UV, but this is going to take a little bit longer. Um, so I can't really. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I've absolutely no idea where the camera is here. <laughs> Ta -da! There we are. This is a very strange angle. So I can't really just dump that on because I suspect it's going to sink in. So I'm not going to put it on at the moment. I think it's going to have to wait until we have done so where's my little coffee cup there it is let's pop it on there i mean it does look like tea to be honest rather than coffee it's a bit of a sort of caramelly color um but again that's going to almost completely cover that area so we're still dripping aren't we it is coming i say this is i don't know whether this is annoying or therapeutic I'm not quite sure but it is actually ah be careful the camera's on really i've got my camera turned one way i've got my lamp hanging on my stand this is yeah i really needed to have thought this out a little bit more um but this angle's sort of quite cute <laughs> i'm sort of quite pleased with it i can see the coffee cup is starting to fill up i don't actually know how much resin's in this shall i let this one go a little bit higher because really i could do a using up the whole resin um and then i can sort of just tighten up the screw on the top and just let it uh, sort of solidify from there oh we're coming it's going you can see it filling up if i had to wait this long in a costa for a cup of coffee though i would not be happy if it dripped out at this speed this is going to take some cleaning. This is going to have to be um, thoroughly cleaned um, because otherwise it's going to set that, isn't it? Because the resin's going through it. Shall we say that's it? It's about the same level as my other one. So I'm going to say, ta-da! And it doesn't stop it. Does it stop dripping? I think that's the problem being is I've got like a halfway drip now. Ah, there we go. 
So, and then it blurs. Great. There we go. So, yeah, it's sort of worked. It is fun. Absolutely do love it. For these little tiny spoons, which if you want to do, you could put your spoon in and let it set as a resin thing as well. Um, I've got lots of things to pop in my little Cindy house now, so I'm really pleased. have not got a clue how I'm putting this video together because it's bits and bobs and bits and bobs. But hopefully it helped you see it a little bit by me doing it this way if it's something you're considering. But to be honest, you don't have to do the resin bit at all. It would work quite nicely just as accessories for your doll's house. So thank you for your patience on this one because that was weird. Um, I'm definitely going to do a normal top down for my next video. I'm not very good at moving the cameras about. I think that's the problem. Um, so I'll see you all very soon. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe and share. And I will see you all very soon. And I hope when I put this together, it has worked. So see you soon. Bye bye for now.